Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematically Inclined. I am Neha, your math mentor. And today we are on part 2 of continuity. Well, needless to say, if you haven't seen the previous part, then check out the description box, you would find the link. Beginning with type 2, when the function has different definitions on both sides of the given point, and you still have to examine the continuity at that point. So, let's see an example. Have a look at question number one. You have to examine the continuity at the point half. Now, if you see on left hand side of half, we have half minus x as a function. On right hand side of half, you have 3 by 2 minus x as a function. So, you have two different definitions on both sides of the given point. And limit x tends to half from the left hand side. You do not have to really write x as half minus h this time because you have a function specially defined for this. So you simply take half minus x which gives us the answer as 0. Now looking at RHL which would be limit x tending to half plus that means moving towards half from the right side you know the function would be 3 by 2 minus x. which gives us the answer as 3 by 2 minus half, which is just 1. And value of the function at half is again 1. However, LHL and RHL, they are not the same. Therefore, the function is discontinuous at x equal to half. So once again, your function is differently defined at 1 and you have to check the continuity of the function at x equal to 1. So to begin with, once again your LHL, that means moving to 1 from the left side, we get 5x minus 4. On substituting we get 1 as the answer. For RHL, so this is 4 minus 3, once again the answer is 1. But what do we do for f at 1? This time you do not have the function separately defined for it. Well, actually if you see, it is. So your x equal to 1 is inc included in this case. So f of 1 would be 5 into 1 minus 4 which is once again 1. So since LHL, RHL and value of the function at 1 all 3 coincide. Therefore the function is continuous at x equal to 1. Just have a look at this dangerous question. Isn't it very intimidating? When you have to check the continuity at the point x equal to 0. But let me simplify it for you. It's nothing but the mixture of these four limits which you did in class 11. So just to recall, you can have a look at each one of them. And please remember, if no base is given with log, it is always considered to be E. So making use of our ingredients here, let's cook the dish. So starting with your LHL. That means limit x tending to 0 from the left hand side. You have sine 3x upon tan 2x. So in order to apply the initial two formulas, you have to first divide your numerator and denominator with x. And now in order to apply the property, you know all these should be the same. So... We'll multiply and divide with 3 here. We'll multiply and divide with 2 here. Applying the limits, I mean I can separate this out. You know when x tends to 0, 3x will also tend to 0. I can take this 3 out. We are left with sine 3x upon 3x. Likewise, when I take the 2 out, we are left with tan 2x upon 2x. So, this becomes 1, this becomes 1, the answer is 3 by 2. Now for your RHL, if I take limit x tending to 0 and straight away using this, your RHL is this function. Now you know you would be needing the third and fourth. 
but in order to use them once again you need to divide your numerator and denominator with x so on dividing and then once more you multiply this with 3 and multiply this with 2 separate out the limits you get limit 3x tending to 0 log of 1 plus 3x by 3x and when you take 2 common and limit x tending to 0 limit 2x tending to 0 e to the power 2x minus 1 upon 2x you once again end up getting 3 by 2 as the answer but i know you'll get super happy after doing this but do not forget to check for the value of the function at that point which is once again 3 by 2 from here so f of 0 is further 3 by 2 so all 3 happen to be the same and yes, the function is continuous at x equal to 0. After all the turmoil that you had to go through, we are here with a breather. Certainly a simpler question. You have to examine the continuity of the point at x equal to 1. Your LHL is limit x tending to 1 from the negative side. So we put the function which on direct substitution gives us half as the answer. Similarly, your RHL substitute the value and when you put x as 1, this becomes 2 minus 3 plus 3 by 2 which is 3 by 2 minus 1 and once again it is half. Value of the function at x equal to 1 is once again half. LHL is half, RHL is half and the value of the function at 1 is half. This is how we conclude our answer. Since the left hand limit at 1 is the same as right hand limit at 1 is the same as value of the function at 1. Therefore, fx is continuous at x equal to 1. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you understood the concept and would be practicing a lot of questions. Please ensure to subscribe and I'll see you with the next video. Until then, bye-bye.